we had um, some people ask about our cows, and so we wanted to answer that question, the calves that Terrell and Heath were looking for. Um, one of them actually came home on his own that afternoon, just came down the road and we found him. So um, we got one of them back, the other one we still haven't been able to find, and we're hoping that when the, um, the ranchers bring their cows back down at the end of, the, of this month, towards the end of this month that we will be able to find him in that group of, of cows. But um, if not, then we're down a cow. But the rest of them are doing good and, and staying in the yard, so we haven't had any more issues. I wanted to take a minute and kind of show you our day-to-day -day life here, because uh, we've shown you a lot of projects, but we haven't really shown you what, what we're living in and uh, how that all works with all of us. Um, so I'm going to take you into the trailer right now. We're making breakfast and uh, show you around a little bit in the trailer. Okay, this is what it looks like when you first walk into the trailer. We have two little recliners. We have our couch over here that actually pulls in, out into a bed that Tell sleeps on. You don't have to show them how that all works if you don't. Yeah. Okay, so he sleeps there. Kitchen table area where we're... Carol's working on something, but this turns into a bed for Haley. And then we have our little small kitchen area over here. So if we go through this door, we have the bathroom, a shower, we have our little area there, and then we have our sink. Um, and we all have one bathroom to share. We just did laundry yesterday. We have to go to the laundromat to do laundry in town. And so I'm still haven't put all the clothes away, but this is Terrell in my room. So we have a curtain rod that we put up here and attached to be able to hang up our clothes for the clothes that we need to have and hung up. And we have to go to the laundromat in town to do laundry. We do that once a week. And then I do the, our grocery shopping at the same time. And, um, Cole, our oldest, he prefers to sleep outside in his truck bed on his pad because he likes his own space, which is slim to none here when you live like this. Now outside right now is kind of, um, we have the cupboards that we I have food in, this cupboard here, and then the kids have their clothes in this cupboard and this cupboard, which we probably shouldn't open, but we will because they're usually a disaster. So this is Cole's, Cole's cupboard. And then, um, yeah, Haley and Tells. Looks a lot like their bedroom did at, at our other house. Anyway, so this is where theirs is. A lot of, we don't have a ton of storage inside the trailer. Okay, so this is our water tank that um, we keep it covered because with the sun, algae starts growing in it but we're still hauling water because obviously we don't have the spring done yet. Um, we're trying to prioritize things as winter is coming quickly um, to do what we need to do. And right now the shop is what is priority. And so um, this is where we hang all of the clothes for from the laundry mat when we come back from the laundry and drying our socks. <laughs> we do dry some of our clothes, but not all of them. I'm trying to save the money. So as you can see, this is not just our living area, but this is also Terrell's workshop area. He's getting the sawmill put together. I'm gonna to bring you around back here so that you can see where the generators are. We run the house off of these two generators. They don't run all the time. Um, but we have, I need, both of them need to run to be able to run the microwave and my hair dryer and things like that, but most of the time it's just the one if we need it in the morning. Um, the other nice thing that we have is we have this really nice little tiny small solar panel that we got before we left. And this is um, attached to the battery of the trailer that um, runs any any small things and it keeps it that battery charged all day so like the water just turning on the water and things like that use the battery but that little inverter that we use for the Wi-Fi works as well so we don't keep the inverter and all of that on all the time especially if we're not going to be up here if we're out working or or gone 
Another thing that I was going to say is that um, the camp trailer, thank goodness, works on a, um, not just electricity or the, the generators, but with propane as well. So my stove, um, my fridge, the heater, that can all run on a propane too. So we have the propane attachment as well, which has been really nice, which is really nice. Um, our propane lasts us about a month right now. Of course, once we try, start turning the heater on when it gets cold, that'll change. But right now we're only having to fill up our um, propane tanks once a month and then the gas tanks are about once a week. We take two five gallon um, things down and fill those up once a week. So that's been really nice. The other question we've gotten asked is how do we get internet up here? We actually um, have a satellite company that um, we have a satellite here on the property that allows us to use the internet and we can do Wi-Fi calling with it if we'd like to. Um, there is a cost of course monthly but um, that's really the only way to get it up here for us to be able to have internet which we need with the kids in school and things and to be able to put videos up and stuff. Okay so we're Cleaning off the culverts about eight inches, we're going to be concreting creating the rocks on the top of the culverts in between to strengthen them and keep the water from washing all the all of the dirt away when we start having a big flow. So we're going to get started. Putting rocks on top of culverts so in the winter it doesn't. What does it do in winter so it doesn't? Why are we doing this? There's a couple of those that are in the road all the way out to the edge. And they're all spraying so when all that water, the winter runoff comes through, it doesn't wash out our culverts with the water will cut under the culverts. Finish your second side today. Now we have to push dirt around. And yeah, looks pretty good. 